Hello guys, so tonight I want to talk about disappearance of Madeline McCain and this is one of the most notorious stories in the world ever occurred in the sphere of missing persons and it gained a lot of attention and let's see uh, the latest claims on it. Psychic claims Madeline McCain is buried 13 miles from where she disappeared. The German clairvoyant has claimed the youngster who vanished from her family's rented holiday apartment in Praia de Lutz, Portugal, while her parents dined with Pauls, was killed by a pedo criminal. Published in Daily Star, a claim one said to have solved four missing person cases this year alone claims Madeline McCain is buried in the Algarve. Algarve is such a strange name. It's like an anagram for the word El Grave. So all this uh, area, Portugal, is a weird era because it has these Middle Ages names of the towns and villages that have something to do with fetuses, babies, uh, uh, animals, fetuses, and all sorts of uh, uh, strange stuff. You can look up as a map of Portugal. A clairvoyant said to have sold for missing person cases this year claims Madeline McCain is buried in the Algarve. Michael Schneider has revealed what he says are meter precise map coordinates where he believed the remains of the breed girl will be found. The German psyche has claimed the youngster who vanished from her family's rented holiday apartment in Praia da Luz. Portugal, while her parents dined with Pauls in nearby Tapas Bar, was killed by a pedo criminal. He said the then three-year-old, who will have been missing for 15 years on May 3, is buried in scrubland, a 20-minute drive from the resort. And the last week, police quizzed convicted German pedophile Christian Bruckner over Madeline's disappearance inside the jail where he is serving a seven-year sentence for raping a 72-year-old woman in the same Algarve resort. Bruckner, 44, who has been named an Arguida suspect or refused to answer any questions, though he was he has previously denied any involvement. Michael said, I think and have had the clear intuition that Maddie is dead and that she was killed by a pedocriminal person. I see Maddie buried and I can always give matter precise coordinates. But thank God I don't get any pictures, only if someone is buried or in the wall water in a basement in a cave or lying free. The clairvoyant has tried to help police solve the case previously, given a location for her remains six months from the spot where she was last seen. He now claims to have found the precise place near the village of Odia Xere. Michael said he finds missing people by looking at the photo of them and asking God if they are living or dead. Okay, featured comment which was highlighted by the editor Reaper 666. Only the parents know what she is because they committed the sick, twisted crime on the poor girl. Nine thumbs up. So, remind me, how was it that the poor little mite went missing in the first place? Or and why doesn't the sick go and dig up the psychic go and dig up the place where he's, he's sure she's buried? 
and prove he is right. Another comment. Where the parents put her now? Stop wasting tax. Uh, prayers, payers, money. Give all seven a lie detector test one, once and for all. Ask for ask the parents. They know exactly where she is. So this was Reaper six six six. Was the editor speak? Another psychic wanting five minutes of fame and free publicity. This is all down to the parents. They know what happened to her, yet they've getting they are getting away with it. And exactly, you could tell on the mother's face in the interviews she knew what had happened. You could tell she was hiding something. Yet, cause their doctors, they got away with it. Anyone else would have been locked up. Definitely that poor Carrie Needham, Carrie Needham, whose son Ben went missing in Greece years ago when he was three, got absolutely no help whatsoever. And they've had millions, absolute disgrace. All you have to do is ask the McCanns, unless the landscape has changed that much over the years, they should take you straight to her. Yep, he's had a hunch for 15 years. Muppet. So why doesn't he get a spade and prove his gift? He forgot where he put it. So anyways, my comments to this case is the following. In Russia, a psychic has also uh, tried to see this through remote viewing. So the remote viewing is uh, a method they developed uh, in St. Petersburg, Russia, where they put someone who is uh, uh, who claims to be contactee with aliens uh, in trance mode, and they I think they use special technique or they they give them something hallucinogenic, and the hypnotherapist asks the questions to the person who is this uh, contactee. So what he said was that unlike uh, it was made uh, known to the public, mm, this story went a different way according to him. First of all, he said that there was a nanny present Unlike what uh, the what was presented to the public, he said that uh, the nanny that the nanny was present with the kids when disappearance happened. So she was with the kids and she was doing some duties, uh, was watching TV, and uh, the children had been put uh, to sleep. And the man had opened the window. He looked inside, he opened the window, and uh, he saw that girl. She wasn't sleeping. She said she wanted to go to see her mommy. And he, and he said to her, I'll take you to, her mo to your mom. And he took her and he put her in the car. And the nanny didn't notice uh, because she was in a different room. And then the man uh, took her in the car. Uh, he went through the park first and he got onto the cameras. So the police have the tape of the man with a girl. And he... 
uh, took the girl uh, on the car to some dead end, and then he rap raped her, and then he choked her. So while he was raping her, the contactee said, I wanted this to stop, I cannot watch this anymore. And, um, yeah. And then uh, uh, the wind blew because the, the window was open and the nanny went inside the room and she wanted to um, cover the girl with a blanket because she saw that uh, it was draft, the wind was. And uh, she went into the room, she wanted to cover the girl with a blanket, but she saw that she was missing and she started to panic, she started to cry, she called immediately to the parents. And parents, they, go, they were far enough as they had to get into car. So they weren't somewhere nearby, they actually had to go in the car to come back home to their hotel. And then, and then uh, the mother started to scream at the nanny and uh, the nanny and the, she was screaming something like, you know, how hard it was for us to to have her and you know and the father started to scream i don't know why they didn't put the nanny into the story maybe because she got nervous break her breakdown or heart attack because of the stress or she would be bullied till the rest of her life anyways uh coming back to this case I also think that psychics don't tell things that can endanger them, so uh, this reading stopped, interrupted very, very soon, and he didn't want to proceed. Anyways, um, there are things that I wanted to comment on. This is what I found, this I remember through watching the interview with David Icke and this mother goddess uh, uh, who calls herself Arizona Wilder and she was talking about Beltane and uh, the 1st of May and how the sacrifices are made on this day, human sacrifices. How Bill 10 became May Day. Some of the earliest known celebrations of May lead back to ancient Rome with the Floralia, festival of Flora, the Roman goddess of flowers. Floralia would see revelers drink, dance, and perform theatrical extravaganzas. Goats and hares were released, and crowds pelted with beans before concluding with a sacrifice. There was going to be blood somewhere in this blog post. In the 2nd century AD, Maiouma was instead celebrated in Rome. This was a nocturnal, dramatic festival held every three years. According to one 6th century chronicle, chronicle of this celebration honored Dionysus and Aphrodite and was also known as Orgies. The fact that Dionysus and Aphrodite were Greek gods with their own designated festival seems to have slipped this chronicler's notice, although admittedly there were many overlapping festivals throughout the ancient world. During this time the government put money aside for the expensive of this the 30 day all night revelry. 30 day after many Hanover's Emperor Constantine suppressed this festival. In 900 AD, in Germanic countries, the world Beltane came to life, lucky fire, um, where the celebration focused on the use of fire 
to bless cattle and other livestock. This tradition would have influenced existing Celtic Gaelic festivi festivities once the Saxons and the Vikings settled in the UK. Catholics in the 18th century began to observe May Day with devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, who at this time would have been adorned with flowers in a May crowning. It is also marked the start of feasting in respect to Saint Joseph. Flora from Roman Polytheism. Flora was celebrated at Floralia April 28th, May 3rd. Romans would dress in bright robes with floral wreaths to honor the goddess. At her shrines, Flora would be offered milk and honey so that she would protect the blossoms each spring. Chernonos. So this is like Chern, the Hadron Collider. They built an underground cave in um, Switzerland. Chernonos from Celtic mythology. Chernonos relates to fertility and his associated imagery is that of a stag in a rod full of sexual energy. He is depicted as a shaggy haired lord of the forest with great horns on his head and the occasional erect phallus. He has been oft misrepresented as a symbol of Satan. Cocopelli from the Hopi people is a flute playing dancing trickster god who in one legend was traveling through the land turning winter to spring with the beautiful music of his flute and calling the rains to come for good harvest. Beltane falls on the 1st of May and is the fourth festival on the new pagan calendar, the Wheel of the Year. Named for the ancient Celtic celebration, it is a time to thank spring for its growth and welcome summer, the season of sowing seed for autumn's harvest. With the ground is full of fertile potential, it is said that the horn god, sometimes identified as the British Herne, the Irish Chernonos, the Germans, the German Belenos or Norse Odin, and goddess the Welsh, the Welsh Cheridwen, German Hall or Norse Freya, come together in physical union at this time, having reached full maturity in their growth over the spring months. You may remember that they married at the festival of Ostara. Well, now it's time to do what comes after marriage. The goddess then enters her mother aspect and the god comes into the height of his power. Sabbaths from uh, the demonic paradise of Vaiki. Samhain aka Sowin or Hallows or the festival of the dead, greater Sabbath is October 31st. Yule, aka midwinter, the winter solstice, lesser Sabbath, December 21st. Imbolc, aka Candlemas, Oemelk, or Bridget, a greater Sabbath, January 31st. Ostara, aka Lady Day, the spring or vernal equinox, a lesser Sabbath, March 21st. Biltane, aka May Eve, a greater Sabbath, April 30. Lita, I came midsummer, the summer solstice, Elisa Sabbath, June 22nd. Luke, Hanas, Adh, aka Lamas, or Lunasa, a greater Sabbath, July 31st. Mabon, aka Madron, or Harvest Home, the autumn equinox, Elisa Sabbath, September 21st. The Witches' Sabbath or Sabbath are the eight festivals celebrated by Wiccans, Witches and Neo-Pagans spaced at approximately even intervals throughout the annual cycle of Earth seasons, the Wheel of the Year. So this was um, Scorpio and the second of May was full moon at 10.10. 10. 
Scorpio is a sign of death. You can check it out in the um, in the tarot cards. The death is means Scorpio. Um, so I will read up what the Russian uh, language sources claim about this holiday and the Sabbaths. Uh, the, Sab the Sabbaths in the Middle Ages were the gathering of black magos, magicians, and those who worship demons, um, which had some other more deep and real character to it. Uh, in order to be present at the Sabbath, uh, it is necessary uh, to uh, rub to, onto the certain parts of the body special cream made from human fat and uh, different uh, and different uh, preparations. This. Uh, made it easy to have astral travels and the participants of the Sabbath uh, experience all the events in astral world which demanded more power and knowledge in the field of black magic. This definition of Sabbath uh, I personally perceive as a true one. This is what the person who wrote the article says. At present, um, the, there are still traditions at keeping the Sabbath. Um, although this event stopped being so bloody and perverted, promiscuous. Um, for those who practice magic, the Sabbath, this is, first of all, an uh, opportunity to communicate and share experience with the, li the like. It is, uh, it is celebrated usually four or eight times a year, once in every season or two, and it can have different characters to it. Sometimes there is no altar and its role is played by the new initiate. And this initiate provides their body as mm, a means of satisfaction of uh, lusts and also as a table from which people eat and drink and for other necessary actions. Then the dances begin. Uh, people in circle, um, they back to back to each other, and then the feast and an orgy, uh, where all kinds of perversions are encouraged. Uh, most attention is focused on the incest. This is. Um, sexual act between close relatives as it is believed that the true witcher or magician can only be born only through this uh, intimate connection so they believe that those who are witchers again can only be born um, through the incest. However, debauchery is not the main action and goal in the Sabbath, as it may seem at the first glance. It is conceded that at the Sabbath the devil um, gives to the sorcerers and the witches the power. Uh, and uh, he distributes uh, the location between uh, the evil powers and grants 
uh, all kinds of favors to loyal uh, servants and they uh, make plans for harming people. At the same time, the Sabbaths, with more detailed history and uh, history of witchcraft, is nothing else but um, fly of fantasy and sometimes um, violent. Knights of the Sabbaths are the Valpurgiev Knight. Uh, this is the 1st of May and Halloween, 1st of November. It was considered that witches and sorcerers were transferred there with the help of the devil in the blink of an eye. And sometimes they were, uh, have, they were having, uh, mm, they were riding a sweeping broom or a goat. Mythological representation of the Sabbath is the following. The Sabbath is um, chaired by the Satan in uh, in the um, personified by the gold. Uh, he's uh, called Messier Leonard. Sometimes he's called Urian. Uh, he uh, gives the powders and fluids to. Uh, those who came um, for preparation of poisons and different drinks. He cuts to the trees, uh, usually oaks, and uh, he gets wine out of it, uh, with which he dr makes the people present drunk. Then witches uh, sacrifice toads, frogs, cats, and they make... Uh, magic items out of their bones. One of young women, so called the new initiate, is called uh, the Queen of the Sabbath. Completely naked, she lies on the altar where Leonard uh, has a sexual act with her. Uh, depriving her of her virginity and also uh, after this this what they can uh, can be done to her by everyone else who wants it uh, Sabbath is from the Jewish word Sabbath uh, which is the seventh day of the week common belief uh, of the Western European mythology uh, starting from the Middle Ages it's the gathering of witches sorcerers and other evil force in order to meet the devil which was usually organized on Saturdays uh, less often on Wednesday or Friday in secluded and wild locations and uh, as time came by, uh, each country had its own places of Sabbath. Germany, mountain called Broken or Broxberg. Iceland, Gekl or Gekkenfelde. Sweden, Blakula on Elande. Norway, Lindergorn near Bergen. Ukraine, uh, Lisa mountain near Kiev. So as you can see the mm, the common scene is incest and orgies and uh, the um, black magic and uh, poisoning portions and mixing up with animals the bestiality um, it 
and the pedophilia. And um, Maurice Danson, named after 17th century Moorish dancers, is also a common sight on May Day across the world. The stomping feet and clashing sticks bring to mind the clash of summer and winter, resulting in summer's eventual triumph. In England, May Day is especially beloved and remains a deep city tradition celebrated in most towns and communities. These English traditions include crowding of a May Queen, an annual procession of Maurice dancers that parade through towns. This modern celebration often incorporates elements from Beltane, the festival of Flora and the Walpurgis Night, so Walpurgis Night. In the United States, the celebration of May Day was initially questioned by early Puritan settlers, and so celebrations are fewer and vary greatly from region to region. Among the largest is the May Day Parade and pageant that occurs over a year in Minneapolis and attracts over 35,000 people from all over the country. Now the American May Day custom is <sighs> so the ancient Rome over two thousand years ago celebrated a holy called Floralia, the festival of Flora on the first of May. This was a five day long ritual that honored the Roman goddess of flowers. Flora, one of the oldest goddesses of the Roman religion had her own state-sanctioned high priest known as the Flamen Floralis. So these are the comments by people in the conspiracy field who try to investigate. Uh, free world order. Did the McCann sell their own daughter? The police sketches seem to prove it, Madeline McCain, if it's a suspect. The following two pictures are the suppressions of the suspects related to the disappearance of Madeline McCain. Dutch shop assistant Anna Stem claims to have seen in the pair in Amsterdam. Madeline McCain, if it's of suspects. And now look good at the photo above. They are the McCanns and compare it with the two sketches above. Do they look like each other or not? It has been suspected for a long time already that the McCanns were involved in the disappearance of their daughter. From the first moment, the Portuguese police suspect that they were involved in it. And although Maddie's mother, Kate McCann, told the press that she and her husband wouldn't leave Portugal until her daughter was found, when the police increased the pressure on her and her husband, they fled to England to avoid being imprisoned. In the beginning, Kate presented herself to the press as a devout Catholic mother who was heartbroken by the disappearance of her daughter and that she and her husband got a lot of sympathy in Portugal, in England and all around the world. But as the police investigation progressed, the police discovered things that didn't fit in the picture she sold to the press. So... The blood of Maddie was found in a car rented by the McCanns, and to make it worse, Kate and Jerry McCann appeared in the media criticizing the Portuguese police and Portugal as a country. And although the most of the British public opinion continued to unconditionally support the McCanns, in Portugal people was every day more hostile to them. Attitude. And to make it even worse, the police discovered that they were active in Swinger, Milieu, which does not fit into the picture of a devout Catholic that Kate sold to the press, and which also leads leads oneself to ask, is Jerry McCann really the father of Maddie, or some sick idiot Kate fucked in a swinger party? Did Jerry want to sell her because she wasn't his daughter? Did Kate maybe agree to get more money for their secret vices? In conspiracy circles, it is believed that the McCanns sold their daughter to the president of the European Commission, José Manuel Durao Barroso, to be used as his own sexual slave. And now I want to show you something more. Of the two pictures here, both the first one is Durao Barroso. The sketch you can see under his photo was released by the British police as a sketch of the suspects seen around the apartment of the McCann's around the time. 
As in the Holloway case, Maddie's parents have become celebrities and they profited immensely from the desperation of their daughter, plus what they may have gotten from Durao Barroso. And as the Holloway case, in the end, the only one that loses is the disappeared girl. Again, a little defenseless child has fallen in the dirty clothes of the sick people that are at the top of our sick society to be used in their sick rituals and vices. Even if she is still alive and she could escape and publicly accuse Barroza, he would never be arrested and nobody would complain about it. So idiotic has the ship will become, but okay, let's stop talking about these things because otherwise I'll end up vomiting. I hope you are all well, okay, and I'll be back very soon to shed some more light on the dark side of our society. See you. So, here is another interesting comment I found. See, now this is intriguing. What is it you are trying to say in the thread? When do you think she went missing? Published by Almost Curious. Sorry for the late reply. I would like to say two days before the alert was sent out of a missing child. The child was dead by then and sadly moved to another location. This was off-season and quiet area. I would also like to add that this was not a child's holiday. This was a holiday for the combined parents. So, she exactly went missing two days before it was cl it was claimed she went missing so if this person is correct then she went missing on the 1st of may which is beltane exactly and i think this was done in order to you know to distract the people so that people wouldn't guess because it would be such a great coincidence that you know she went missing on the day where all those who believe in uh, practice magic rituals especially dark arts uh, do these uh, carnal rituals okay and as the years go by, I, I used to be this, uh, I used to be very naive and I couldn't m make my head around this because I was looking at the parents and I thought that there was something wrong with them, but I couldn't place my head, my, my finger on it. So I was looking at them and I saw that they kind of, especially she, her, uh, the mother, looks way too old to be uh, the mother of such younger children. And I was very surprised, like she had, she just had three young, young kids. So I was wondering what what was wrong with them. I couldn't wrap my head around this. So she doesn't look to me like in figure, in statue, as mumsy, you know. And I saw that maybe she was stricken with grief. That's why she was so thin. And maybe she was jogging a lot, as they reported. That's why she was looking so old uh, for someone who has these three young children and now knowing what I know I can tell you my opinion and you can really be uh, you can have your own opinion and let's see what people also write. Can see why their supporters would point to replies like 
three after my last post has been prejudicial with no real basis in fact. Stuff I have read that seemed more fact-based and admittedly I cannot provide links to back this up suggests they did know each other from union training. It seemed to me reasonable to be holidaying with them. This is called Tapa 7. They also had the seven people there. I agree what you said. I think some of their supporters are posting ridiculous accusations just to get the, this thread closed down. Let's not forget Tapas 9 consists of four couples and the mother of one of them. Who knows, but the Tapas group hardly knew each other, that's a fact. Would you go on a holiday with people you don't know or hardly know unless it's for certain purpose? That's not actually true. David and Fiona were very good friends of the McCann's, Jane Tanner and partner were very good friends of David and Fiona and knew the McCann's the same as Matt Oldfield's party. They frequently holidayed together over the years. I don't see it strange for people to have friends and go on holiday with them just simply because they are friends and get on well together. From my memory, the, the word swinging came because on Facebook an old college friend of Hot Lips Kate Put it about she was a bit of swinger and liked to drink, etc. Totally hearsay and probably made up, but the red tops will print anything. Matt Shenton wrote, yeah, CM had been told by a higher power that the police are listening to the conversation. The UK government involved again. I'm sure the person said that the police had proof on the tapes but couldn't use them because of the way they were made. I have a real suspicion that we are not being told the whole truth. There is something else there. Some issues that members of the party are embarrassed about. My opinion, no, it's the opinion of the former deputy chief constable of Greater Manchester Police, John Stalker. There is a conspiracy theory that the McCann's were part of one huge group of swingers that involved most of the Ocean, ocean Club and most of the Lulz. Retired detective Jose Barra da Costa told Portuguese TV that Kate and Jerry McCain were swingers, called, but Costa had no evidence. Kate and Jerry McCann have endured a torrid time at the hands of Portuguese papers. Here are some of the more lurid and damning accusations made. Swingers? Retired detective Jose Barra da Costa told Portuguese TV that Kate and Jerry McCann were, quote, swingers. Various media reports secondly claimed Jerry was not Madeline's real father. They said he deliberately altered details altered details on her birth certificate to make it appear he was her dad. The McCann's who conceived Madeline by IVF were said to be furious at the unsubstantiated slur. Friend the suspect, the McCann's friend Dr. Russell O'Brien was said to have mysteriously disappeared for more than an hour on the night Madeline went missing. The Portuguese press hinted that he was somehow involved but Russell had left who looked after his own child who was feeling ill. Sedatives? A number of newspapers accused a couple of doping their children with sedatives to make them sleep. The newspaper Telling Qual accused McCann's of killing Madeleine. So, all these stories about Barroso, European Commissioner, I think they are to distract. And my opinion, guys, again, I wanted to stress this this is the most important information I put out for you on the internet. Along with this fake DNA shit, this fake shit called DNA doesn't exist. This and this shit that I'm going to say now. Look at them. Look at them. This couple, in my opinion, they look to me like siblings. They are brother and sister or cousins, at least cousins. There are cousins that look amazingly like, but I put my money on them being siblings. 
that's who they are. Look at their noses, look at their eyes, the way their lips are. They are exactly the same nose, eyes, ears, lips. Do you see that? Look at them. The eyebrow line, the eyes, the nose, the lips. Look at them. Both have blue eyes. Whatever color it is. Do you see this? The teeth are the same. The chin is the same. The way they get pinky. Do you see this? Do you see the way they smile? The lines on their face when they smile, the chins. Is it a coincidence that this is such a similarity to them? That they look so much alike between themselves. The husband and the wife. Do you see these snows and these snows? They are both even this. They keep their mouths open the same way. You see, they squint the same way at the sun. They have the same noses and very similar hands. Do you see the hands? Do you see how their chins look alike? So do you do you know any other channel that talks about it? And this is very important and this is how they are not like us. Do you see these things? How they are different from us? Because you will never we will never be the look at their mouth these. Look, this mouth and this mouth are exactly they open them exactly the same way. Micromimics the eyes, the asymmetry of their eyes, and the chin is exactly the same. Do you see? Do you see this? They are siblings. That's my opinion. Okay? That's what I think about them. That's very peculiar. Of th This is very important to understand. If you want to know what world we live in, this is what we are dealing with. It is very important to know that they are siblings. And they will never be like us, okay? And who knows what happened to that girl? Because the ritual goes the same way, that there should be incest, where this uh, virgin is crowned as May Queen and is being deprived of her virginity. And the, the ritual on Beltane involves orgies. And coincidentally, the couple is being accused of being swingers. I don't believe that they killed the girl. I don't know. Please write your opinion in the comment section. And most of the stories that are spray, spread about them, where it involves the, sp the suspects like Barroso and stuff like that, is just to distract you from the fact that they are siblings, okay? And they either pose, pose as Catholics, or they pose as Jews, or, you know, they pose as mothers. And they they breed, they they are inbred, and they breed through IVF. This is very important. They are mostly infertiles, and they do rituals, and they inbreed with IVF. 